Here we are, day four. A one full day with the uh, seeds exposed to the elements. Not a whole lot of change. Day five. At this point, everything's inside because it's so cold in the sunroom. So it's just in the house by the window. Everything looks like it's starting to sprout. Day six. So this is day seven. It's really starting to come together now. You can tell that it's all starting to bond together. It feels pretty solid. This is day eight. This is early in the morning and these things just exploded overnight. So yeah, we're keeping uh, the trays here in the spare bedroom just because it's been in the forties uh, out in the sunroom and we got southern exposure here. Whereas if we did it in the sunroom, we would be facing uh, west. So this is the better spot just to keep it a little bit warmer and give it as much sun as we can. Day nine. Day 10. Here we are. We're going to see if the animals like it. Wow. Wow, smells really good.
Well, Griffin likes it. Kind of mixed results with all this. The uh, the horses kind of nibbled at it. Um, the goats kind of just sniffed it and moved it. And but the chickens were kind of nibbling on it. I would imagine it'll probably all be gone by the morning. Um, anyway, I'll keep tinkering with this stuff and uh, see where it goes. I think all the animals are just pretty used to eating what they're used to eating, and uh, something new is gonna just kind of take a little while to. Kind of take a little while for them to get used to the idea of trying out. So, um, I'll grow a few more. Keep throwing it at them. See what happens. So it's the next morning, and the uh, horses ate everything. They ate all the fodder overnight. So that's promising. Um, I'll definitely be making more fodder for them. Get them used to the idea of eating it. So the goats, they're kind of snobs. Theirs is still there, and. Uh, but I think next time I give it to the goats, I'll give it to them in the morning and that'll just be what they have to eat. That's it's eat it or don't. So if they uh, are forced to eat it, they'll eat it. They don't have any other options. Uh, chickens, um, they're out. It's just a matter of time with them before they finish theirs off. So I'm not worried about the chickens. They're, they're picking away at theirs. Um, Anyway, time to go make some more fodder.